low-cost sensors are generally less expensive than federal reference methods, such as the ones TCQ uses. While the data might be lower quality, the inexpensive part allows us to have more of them and have a greater resolution of the potent data in the city. We set up an air monitoring network with these low-cost sensors in El Paso and Ciudad Juarez at 31 sites, either at elementary schools or industrial zones. And the key stakeholders would be the school districts involved with helping us set them up and the industrial plants that helped us also coordinate that. And also the local citizens that can check the PM data on their website for the low-cost sensors. We had daily checks and logs for all the sites and we had to establish the same quality control standards for um, the 31 sites to make sure that at least they were all operating in the same manner and the same methodology. We're actually going to enter the next phase of our project, so we took all of our sensors down and we're bringing them back to calibrate here. And by calibrate we mean compare how our low-cost sensor um, measures up to the TCQ data, which is the regulatory data. And then after that, we're going to establish them again at some of the same um, monitoring sites at elementary schools and industrial zones that we can compare our low-cost sensor to the federal reference method data. We know that the pollution doesn't respect borders here, so our problem is Ciudad Juarez's problem too. So we've been wanting to do a collaboration like this with the actual University of Iwasipota and us, UTEP. Este es un gran proyecto, este proyecto que hemos hecho con UTEP eh, y nos ha posicionado muy favorablemente como para poder eh, sentarnos a la mesa y platicar sobre proyectos futuros de innovación. Los sensores de bajo costo se han convertido en este momento en una de las mejores opciones para observar tendencias, es decir, no necesariamente para obtener valores muy precisos de la cuantificación de la contaminación, pero sí de cómo está cambiando. Entonces podemos hacer una línea de tiempo o una línea de datos en el tiempo que nos permita ver si lo que está pasando está mejorando o empeorando la calidad del ambiente. Our hope is that the data might be comparable to the federal reference data so that we can use them, but we've seen throughout the study that certain factors actually do affect the low-cost data like heat and the sun and humidity, and we've also seen that they deteriorate the longer they've been out. Todavía nos falta refinar, pero este, este fue un primer paso eh, muy importante porque nos permitió conjuntar la experiencia científica más la experiencia operativa en un proyecto binacional este, que, que desde luego pues esperamos va a tener muy, muy buenas repercusiones. ¿verdad? Overall for the study, the binational collaboration is the most important part of our project. And I think it's been very beneficial because both of our universities have been able to advance our own goals for our cities, but also to work together to actually tackle the problem of air pollution in our area.